Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, guys. So, I'm back here at the canal. I did go to my favorite lake, but it's closed. Looks like it's gonna be closed for a while. So, no kayak fishing anytime soon. So, we're gonna try out the canal. As you can see, there's a lot of algae on top. I don't think it's going to affect us too much. So uh, let me get set up and uh, let's see if we can catch anything. So today I'll be using the double jig again. With some nibbles. And today I'm going to be using a slip bobber though. That's the only difference today. Just the only difference, just a slip bobber. So let's see if we can, oh, there's one already, whoa. Here it goes, oh, jeez. It just hit the water. <laughs> All right, so that's a good sign. He didn't take the nibble off, but, oh, wow. How about that? Let's actually walk closer over here so we don't have to pull the fish through this algae. So right there by that little log. There he is. Oh man. They are hungry today. Haven't hooked one yet, but. There we go. <laughs> Don't tell me this is the one that's been messing with my jigs. Oh, buddy. But that's not the smallest little crappie. And he took my nibble, too. He took my nibble. So like I mentioned, I wanted to go to my favorite lake today, but it is closed down. They're doing a bunch of work in the parking lot and from what it looks like, it's gonna be closed for a while. So there are other places to kayak, but that's my favorite place to kayak. There's one. There's a nice one. So I had this guy telling me that I was catching nothing but six inch crappie. This isn't a big one, but I guarantee you they're bigger than six inches. He is eight and a half, eight and a half. I'm not keeping any fish today, but if I was, I would throw him back anyway. Because I don't like to keep them unless they're over nine. Between nine and 11, anything over 11, I'll throw back. Anything over nine and anything under 11. I like to throw back the big one, so. It helps the population out. And, uh, I think there's a lot of other fishermen out there on YouTube that do the same thing. Which is really cool. Like I mentioned before, my area is really over... The crappie have been overfished. Yo, I notice people taking whatever they catch all the time. And, it's kind of shady. 
kind of shady. Here we go. Here we go. There's that bobber going. Crappie are hitting today. No keepers, but we're not keeping any anyway. Another little guy, not even to measure him. I can tell these little guys are gonna kill my nibbles today. I can tell they're gonna just destroy them. They are hungry. I don't like how my, I know you guys can't see it, but I got a, I got a double jig and here's another one. I got a double jig right now and for some reason, my top jig is getting caught up. My, my slip bobber is getting caught up in my top jig. Oh, buddy. Oh, take it easy. They can stab you sometimes. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. I'll tell you guys, there's just so many crappie in here. It's unbelievable. I was really planning on showing you guys a different location today, but with no time to plan, I just figured I'd come back to the old honey hole. Now these crappies are going to be leaving here soon. There you go. They don't stay in here all, all year. Just in the springtime. Spring and in fall. But you catch more in the spring. I might even throw the, I brought the bash rod today. I might even throw the bash rod around. See if I can catch a couple smallies. I'm not even gonna lie, the only reason I came out was because another fellow YouTuber by the name of Banana Sack, he was fishing the DuPage River, which is where I'm fishing. And once I saw his latest video, I said, oh my God, I gotta get out. I think a lot of you guys are like that. Once you guys see a video, you're like, you know what? Let me get out. So even if you don't watch this whole video, I hope I can at least motivate you to get out. There's one. Take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. He's not a keeper. Like I said, we're not keeping them, but if, if we were keeping any, he's not a keeper, but he is eight inches. Eight inches. Just a little bit over eight. Maybe I eat a quarter. Go on back, bud.
Here's a nice one. So far, this has probably been the only one that I kept. Let's see how big he is. Let's see what we got here. Yep. Yeah, nine inches right on the dot. He would have been a keeper. You can almost tell, you know. Just by the way, how fat they are. They're just a little bit fatter. Fatter fish. There we go. Oh, it's a bluegill. That's always a bonus. I love catching bluegill on crappie jigs. I don't know about you guys, but look at this little fat guy. <laughs> How big is he? Oh, whoa, buddy. He's not that big. He's probably about seven inches. But he is fat. He is seven inches right on the bat. Seven inches exactly. <laughs> Man, he was a fat little guy. I decided to just put my my nibbles on the ground here instead of opening up that jar over and over again. And you smash him on accident here. <laughs> that was fun. There we go. Ooh. I'll tell you guys. Just because we're not big doesn't mean it's not fun. I'll tell you that right now. Oh boy. There we go. Back on them. Looks like they might have moved closer to the dam. Not a big one, but crappy. He went after the pink jig. I might go throw a spinner on right now, see if I can catch a, a smallie. Let's catch one more crappie and then we'll catch a smallmouth. There you go. <laughs> this will be the last crappie. We're gonna go catch some smallies. One last crappie. Yep, that'll do it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed that crappie action. 
Now uh, let's go see if we can catch a smallmouth. Caught this big ass smallmouth. It's gotta be the biggest smallmouth I ever caught. Seriously. <laughs> 